Hey, so today I'm going to be doing this neutral sleepy brown look with faded black lips. I started with my foundation and powder already on just because it's the exact same every time. I also left my neck out, but I did put primer on it. As my base color, I'm using Jeffree Star's Safe Word. I don't support him, but I will use the palette until it's all used up because I always do because I hate to be wasteful. My money is already spent, so all I can do is not give him any more of my money. I'm sure NYX, Wet n Wild, or Makeup Revolution has a brown shade that'll work just as well. Right now, I'm using that same base color on a big fluffy brush. This is important just because you want a really nice diffused blend of your brown. If you use a little tiny brush, you'll be sitting there blending for hours and hours and you'll get nowhere. And now that I have a nice little base on my top lid, I'm just going to do almost the exact same thing to my bottom lid, just with slightly smaller brushes. I'm still just using the same base color, but you gotta get real close into those nooks and crannies, boy. Nothing ruins a look like an unfilled cranny. To get the extra sickly look, I'm just repeating that big brush step on my bottom eyelid as well. Honestly, this kind of look, you can stop at any stage, and it still kind of comes together as a complete look. I wear my makeup like this to work sometimes, at this exact stage. Sickly. Dapper. Fashion. And yes, there are moments in this video when I'm dancing, even though there is absolutely no music playing. I am actually watching a YouTube video. <laughs> I'm using my same base on an angled brush, but I'm just kind of squeezing it a little bit to make it a little bit more narrow. And then I'm giving that a good old blendy blue. If you make the shape really nice and high and sharp, it makes you look a little bit more sick. Why does one side always blend so easily and the other one is a pain in the ass? And because I don't care about this eyeshadow, I'm just using that exact same base on my... What is that called? My under nose? It's NYX time, baby! So the next color I'm going to use right here in my NYX Ultimate palette, you can actually just use for the base for the entire thing if you want to, and if you want an affordable option that is not Jeffree Star. The basic idea is that I'm putting all of my brown eyeshadows together and then ordering them from light to dark and blending a little bit less outward each time I darken the color. I don't know if that made sense, but essentially I'm just fading the colors from light to dark and using like a gajillion different eyeshadows that I've just collected over the years. I think that's kind of what keeps this eyeshadow fun and interesting. It can look entirely different just with one different eyeshadow. Or someone could try the exact same technique but use all different eyeshadows and it could look exactly the same. Like Forrest Gump said, something something, chocolate. Fun fact, I actually got the majority of my eyeshadow brushes from Walmart. You don't have to have a bajillion dollars to make a look work, honey. I got this little blue eyeshadow brush at Superdrug in England, though, and that is, like, really special to me, as well as that big red brush that I'm using right now. I'm still sad that I didn't buy every single color of those brushes. They are amazing. You're about to see me go laser eyeball because I lost something. There it is. And I'm just putting a shadow that's really close to my foundation color on my mobile lid there. She really coming along. And now I'm just doing the opposite of what every single beauty blogger will ever tell you to do and darkening my inner corner to make me look nice and ghastly. Oh, my demon popped out there for a second. Excuse her. And now I'm using Wet n Wild's Panther on my lips. I actually have like a million of these laying around my apartment because they're like a dollar or two dollars. I often contour with them or just do this with them or set my lipstick with them. I find them very useful and it's really awesome to have a really cheap matte black eyeshadow. And it's sold as a single. This is my favorite black liquid to matte lipstick, but I'm pretty sure they discontinued it, and I am highly offended. It was so inexpensive, and it's so nice. I'm also down to my last tube in my stockpile. 
They also changed the formula of this Wet n Wild Onyx lipstick, I think it's called, and I'm really disappointed in the new formula. The one that I'm applying here is the old formula, but for some reason the new formula is like crusty and chalky instead of like nice and buttery. The black and red face paint I'm going to use in this is both Snazaru, which is a water activated paint that I got at Michael's. But once again, if you live in the UK, you have way better access to this stuff and it is way cheaper. It costs about 14 or 15 Canadian dollars here and it costs about two or three pounds in England. <laughs> and that's really sad. <laughs> But honestly, I really like having a really giant pot of water-activated paint in red, black, and white. So it's fine. It's worth the money. It's easy to apply and like super easy to get back off as well. You just dip your brush in water, work the brush into the pot a little bit, and then apply it right onto your skin. And it it's supposed to come off with just water, but I usually find I have to use face wash as well. I've been using it for a while now and I've painted my neck black, white, and red and it's never stained my skin. Of course, if you're going to use new products, I recommend you allergy test and make sure that you're not going to have any adverse reactions before you put it all over your body. I've never heard of it happening with Snazaru specifically before, but you do want to be safe with your products the first time you're using them. Oh, I also added a shimmery black shadow to my neck just to give me a little sparkle. And I'm just straightening my bangs and my little ear tails, straggly boys. It always just pulls the look together. Bam, bam. Last, but certainly not least, it's eyeball time. Whoop, whoop. That one is from TTDI, and that one is from Unique So. And now to let the snakes loose. Whoopah. There you have it. The final look. You can obviously do any kind of variation to this, and if you end up doing that, tag me on Instagram. I would love to see it, and if I see it, I'll definitely comment on it and give it a like. Be creative!